everybody. I appreciate y'all tuning in the channel today here at 323 Fabrication. It is a brisk 93 degrees down here in South Alabama. And uh, we haven't added on to the shop yet. Don't have any umbrellas big enough for this Cadillac. Need more like a boat slip because it's a yacht. But uh, we're out here. Dad's in the trunk cleaning stuff. We got all this junk out of there. Found one valve cover says Cadillac on it. That's pretty cool. Probably clean it up, hang it up. I got some good parts in the shop. I'll show you all of that shortly. But uh, we got the bulk of the stuff out of the car. So I'm going to walk around and show you all that. It's a little crusty, but uh, it's going to be okay. So let's check it out. And then I'm going to get the vacuum in and get the inside cleaned up before we pressure wash it and give it a bath and see what we're working with. Uh, found a few things we were missing, so I'm glad we got those, but, <clears throat> you know, it's a little rough, so let's go look at it. All right, so went 10 hours one way to get this car. Had to put four tires on our car trailer. Uh, there was something sitting on the hood at one point in time. Uh, Dad pointed that out because, I mean, it all starts here and works that way and the hood's actually good up front which is not as common on these uh, early 60s cadillacs this is a 60 sedan deville it's a pink car with pink and white interior and uh it's a little crusty it's got a good roof it's got pretty good quarters and fenders it's got junk floors uh i don't know how good the interior is going to clean up the trunk pan's a little rough and the part that concerns me the most is right here around the windows. This side's not super bad. The other side's got holes in it. But uh, Dad's got all the mess out of the trunk. And you can see it's holy. And the floor brace is actually bad. So it's going to take a little bit of work. Um, but the plan with this car was to pull the 12 valve out of the 96 3500 Dodge Dually I have. And the built 47RE automatic. And come and swap this thing with a trailer hitch and uh haul rusty cars around with it because i mean what else would you do with this thing you know hood stack and by the way that that 96 dually sitting over there it's pretty gnarly i mean you could put this car on a trailer behind that the 96 and this truck right here and drag race them and the 96 with the trailer and the car behind it would outrun that truck by itself. So it's pretty, it's pretty stout. Uh, but we'll get it cleaned up, see a little bit better what we're working with. Um, you know, really kind of go from there. We pulled the seats out. I did the old use a ratchet wrench and then get it in a bind thing on the first bolt on the front seat. And there's four on each side. So ended up having to use a regular wrench, but that seat weighs 400 pounds in case y'all want to know it's powered and you can't lean it forward because it's powered uh back seat you know here's what it is i'll hose them off see what they look like but they're dry enough that they're they're cracking when you put pressure on them so i got the car most of the carpet out i didn't get to i had to cut one seat belt uh but i didn't get the other seat belts out but it's got to have quite a bit of floor work unfortunately um it's not to say it's you know too much to do but um the floor braces up here that one's got a little rot on the edges of it but i mean <clears throat> they're not unusable the trunk braces have pretty much rotted um doors open and close good though Got a hole there, obviously. Um, but judging by the outside of the car, the only thing I can figure is it got rained in. Like, it leaked in it a bunch. And the water stayed there. This is the worst spot on the outside of the car. That's going to have to be fixed. That's going to have to be fixed. <clears throat> what I want to do with it could still be done. It's just it's rougher than I thought it was. Of course, it had... A bunch of parts in it and a bunch of carpet so it was hard to see that but that that trunk brace is totally gone that one's probably pretty good you know it is what it is this is scaly but it's decent that side up there is not as bad as the other side 
no holes yet that I can see. Starting to get one here. But, uh, still gonna wash it, clean it, and make a decision. I mean, you could always sell it and wait and be patient and find another candidate that's a little bit better car. Um, I love the fact this car's pink, though. I would prefer a white car, but pink would probably be my second choice. You know, for a, for a Cummins-powered Cadillac. Pink car with a green steering wheel. Strange. <laughs> there you go. Inside of it's pretty well cleaned out. Oop. So, gonna get the pressure washer out. Start pressure washing stuff. See what we end up with. Pressure wash the inside of it and everything else. Kind of go from there. And then we'll put it under the lean to so it's out of the weather until I decide what I want to do with it. But I do want to do a Cummins Cadillac, and this would be a good candidate for that because I mean, it's not like a great car. But I really didn't, you know, I didn't mind patching floors, but I really don't want to put a whole floor in it. So, you know, I guess we could still patch it. And I'm going to do some research tomorrow. But that's what we got so far. Nothing super exciting. Just getting old crusty carpet out of it. All the crud. Man, that thing is cool. dig it this side of the car is clean i'm gonna get some rubbing compound and get the tire rubber off of it from where the tire blew on the trailer look at those tail lights god this car is sexy man not even sure i care about the floors anymore this thing is so good needs a hood all right i haven't done the front grill so what I'm going to do is move y'all to this other side, start pressure washing over there. But I wanted you to see the difference. So, all right, so this side's wet, and I'll clear coat this car if I keep it and put a Cummins in it. This side's wet and sort of clean, and I'll probably Comet wash it before we put it up just because I really want to see what it looks like. And then this is the other side. Makes such a difference, don't it? That's wild. Oh, it's so cool. Make them like that no more. pinker the whites not same thing in the back it's more of a yellow now or a goldish you can see there that's in pretty good shape that's the proper color and then this one's the same way which they'll get a little lighter when they dry and they need proper cleaning obviously but i was trying to get the bulk of the gross off of them 
there's the car that's what it looks like when it's wet and i would if if i build the car i was gonna do like poppies on it and uh you know do the gloss clear this is the wet side this side's probably pretty well dry now and you can see it's not this is actually the better side of the car but it looks better wet so that's kind of where we're at y'all but i do plan to comet wash this and see if that helps at all and try and get that rubber off the door before we uh put it away to work on other things but i like the car it's got it's got such good lines it's just rough i haven't even seen under the hood i know it's supposed to have a 390 in it and the transmission's gone the uh carburetor and intake were in the trunk carbonator intake accessories not a cool air cleaner early cadillac air cleaners are killer this car's got good lines i love the tail lights and the fins but we got our fender skirts what we shall do with her is yet to be determined it needs to be low it needs wide whites and a 12 valve cummins we'll see see what the plan is probably won't bore y'all with another wash but i might um you know get some footage of it after we comment wash it and see you know what that does with the color let me try and get some of the rust off of it clr i've heard that works you know like where the stains are running down but uh hood's garbage unfortunately there you go one cool cadillac back out here next day got a uh, got the oil draining out of the chevy 2 a little ls gasser street car daily driver commuter go green save the environment and uh stopped by the dollar general got us some comet and some clr so they make a clr for automotive that's designed to do this and it's not supposed to hurt anything but obviously dollar general doesn't carry that and uh i mean who cares so never done this before dad told me he used to wash his cars back in the day with comet and to make them real clean but eventually it took you know the clear coat off of them or whatever but this car i mean it's not gonna get much worse so what i wanted to do was clean it good see what we were working with try both of these out you know learn a little bit uh that's the plan don't know how it's going to work out but we're fitting to get started i'm thinking i'm going to try comment on one fender or maybe well the hood's trash so let's start on the hood i'm gonna do this half comet and this half clr because that side's rustier i don't know what it'll do but i'm excited to learn all right y'all didn't film any of it There's a lot of scrubbing the paint looks so much better on this side i did not do the other side of the car i wanted to be able to show y'all what it looks like dry because obviously it looks so much better wet uh if i if i keep the car i'm gonna you know just pop his patina wipe on gloss clear um but that being said it looks much better the paint looks better it brought some of the color back out of it remove some of the grime actually remove some of the rust stains not all of them obviously but the car looks way better on this side did the roof the trunk this side and the back um and then the two test sections on the hood the clr didn't do anything now they make an automotive version maybe that's the problem i don't know but the comet works really well and so let me get the sun's not too bad there you go car looks much better clean the chrome i mean it, it does a really good job the comet does and i'm just using like a scotch bright dish cleaning sponge you know with the, the rough side on one side and the soft on the other uh but plan is when it's all dry show you both of them and then i mean there's nothing to it i don't know if the comet will take the tire off but i know that a cleaner wax will so we'll see but we will wash this side tomorrow 
and get her put in the pole barn dry storage i love the car love the fact that it's pink on pink i love that it's a 60 and it's a four-door hardtop sedan deville you know it's got the little window in the back and everything all that rolls down but the car is really rough and what i'm gonna do with it you know a rough car is kind of a good thing but i want one that's not gonna need a bunch of attention you know in 10 years because i don't intend to ever sell the car it's kind of my thoughts anyway but we'll get back at it tomorrow dig it so comet washed the whole car got the hood up uh got our custom prop rod there's a the motor what's left of it uh dad's gonna wd-40 the hinges make it a little easier to deal with the hood's pretty well junk um here's the data plate if anybody would like to check it out i don't know if you'll be able to read it but this is a 60 model series 62 sedan and if i understand it right the trim's a 34 which is plum and then the color is a 48 which is what i say arabian sand or something something like that so i thought it was pink but i guess it's more of a lighter tan maybe i don't know but if you look at the firewall it looks kind of pink got our fender skirts on the back car needs to be all the way on the ground Got our hubcaps on the front. Now that he's got the hood hinges, let me show you the uh, firewall. That's the color of the car. And then... Uh, it's almost like a lavender. Yeah, like a lavender. Um, we'll get the hood shut, get y'all a full walk around, and then we're going to go haul it over there. All right, y'all. I got motor parts piled in here i'm not gonna pull the motor out of the car until i decide i'm gonna keep it for sure it'd be just more crap to put up with figure out where to hide and stash and all that but overall the car cleaned up pretty well obviously it still needs floors but put the top half of the dash in there put the seats back in it looks much better put all the parts that are sort of important in the trunk other two door panels vent window driver's door glass which is actually cracked but it's flat glass so that's easy but here we go we're gonna get it put in semi dry storage paint looks much yeah doors closed good paint's cool Looks a lot better. Got the tire marks off of it, and the Comet really kind of brought the color back out a little bit. I feel like wherever it was parked, the front of it was sticking out. Yeah, and they had something sitting on the hood. And something sitting on the hood that stayed wet. There you go. Get her moved. bunch of yard cleaning up to do let's we'll try to stick the green gto in there next to the 66 that's behind the caddy this car's a parts car it'll forever live outside probably steal the doors off of it save for my car when the power windows go bad man how cool is that 57 150 two-door sedan 1960 cadillac series 62 sedan 66 gto that's rough as a cob and old blue 57 chevy pickup back there in the back i tell y'all what 
you know, being at home and working where I work, I make a good living, don't get me wrong. I don't make pipe welding money, traveling the road and all that. I mean, the money's not even comparable, but the quality of my life outside of that is so much better. And I, you know, I, I really owe that uh, to the good Lord up above. He has blessed me beyond anything I would have ever imagined, um, you know, to, to get to do what I love to do. And I appreciate all y'all that watch this. I want you to know that, like, this is, <laughs> the fact that people are interested in, you know, watching what I do is pretty cool. And this is, this is a dream of mine. I love hot rodding. Uh, whether I had a YouTube channel or not, I want y'all to understand, I would still do the same stuff I do. Um, but the fact that I get to stay home and I have time to do it, uh, you know, is, is really a blessing. And I want to thank y'all for watching. Uh, all the subscribers to the channel, I appreciate y'all. I want you to know that. And, uh, you know, tell your friends about it. Uh, if you're new and you like this kind of stuff, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Uh... Throw this video a thumbs up if you dig old Cadillacs. I'm telling y'all, if you'd have told me three or four years ago that not only would I have one old hot rod, but man, we got a Charger and that 55 Buick to go pick up still. I'm gonna sell the Charger, but I'm gonna keep the Buick. I think Hannah's kind of put in for it. We'll paint it black, maybe. Learn how to paint. That'd be a good car to start on. But uh, man, if y'all have told me if y'all would have told me three or four years ago that this is what I'd be doing with my spare time, hanging out with my dad, building hot rods, you know. I mean, look at this car. Look how cool this is. <laughs> Best part's the back of it, <clears throat> obviously. It's a Cadillac. Got fins. Got rocket ship taillights. Man, I love that 57. This car has really grown on me. The Comet wash made a huge difference. Getting the interior back in it made a huge difference. Um, it might have to stay, guys. I'm telling y'all. Seeing it roll across the yard, the door shut really good. The floors are the worst part. The floors are garbage. The hood is garbage. But dig this. Dig this. Let's, uh, oh, let me get under the steering wheel. Let's go for a ride. Door shut's good man let me see put the camera right right next to my head so y'all can get my point of view this car is super comfortable even though the seat is super crusty and pretty stiff but i mean can you imagine tooling around in this and there being a big old hood stack right up there going burr, burr, you know rolling coal because 12 valve cummins you know with a trailer with maybe that car on the trailer behind it headed to a race somewhere going drag racing whoo it is hot so i wasn't planning to do drag week this year and i really don't think i'm gonna make it but a friend of mine uh kind of runs the show i don't know if y'all know who keith turk is but uh he kind of runs drag week puts it you know helps put it on him and his wife tanya awesome folks they're local to me i've worked on the bonneville land speed camaro before um He's like, man, you should do drag week. If you had fun at Power Tour, you should really do drag week. And I want to. That's the plan. That's why we built the gasser. But the Chevy 2 needs a scatter shield, a roll bar, and a drive shaft loop to be legal. Because I think the car is going to run faster than 11.49 in the quarter. I don't know that, but that's that's just kind of what I think. But, uh, you know, we got a lot going on. Uh, so we'll see. I'm going to work towards it, but I don't know if it's going to be in the cards this year because that's in September. That's the same month for LS Fest East and Bowling Green, which I want to do with the gasser as well, and No Name Nationals in Sykeston, Missouri. So that being said, it's hot. It's really hot in this car, but it's really cool in this car at the same time. I love it. I really do. So that being said, I appreciate all y'all. Thanks for watching the video. Throw it a thumbs up, tell your friends about it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. There's more to come. So, y'all have a good one. Be blessed.